you. Such a nice audience. Okay. 
Thank you. Clive Metcalf, Keith Noble, and David Stewart wrote that song. Thanks so much. Thanks to all the organizers. We're going to get out of the way so the next group can come in. All right, everybody, let's hear it for Amy Conley and the Kukuleles. Give it up! Yo! All right.
like Loki and Orchestra. Come on, come on, big round of applause. Come on, Jared, yeah. They're fantastic. Their harmonies are outstanding. I wanted to point out one thing before they do their last song. Who's got the, the, the U bass? There is a, you see, that's all very, very unusual to have a ukulele bass. So you're hearing a kind of bass line. It's really, really cool. So uh, there's, you're hearing the U bass and the fantastic harmonies. They got one more. Let's hear it for Yukastra. Yeah. Do a last song here. This is uh, by another 60s group. This is Herman's Hermits. This is a kind of hush. you guys very much. It's 
sleigh in the evening Glass on the side Stay with you for most of the night Ain't nothing everybody here Cause maybe we could disappear So maybe we could get down I don't want to know If you're getting ahead of the program Want you to be mine, lady So just hold your body close Take another step into the no man's lane For the long time, lady Said it's nice to meet you, that you're gonna be a bottle of water through with the key. I don't really know if she's a keeper. Just when the swans want to like to kind of sign in. Deep trouble, and everybody finds out. I'm meant to drive home, but I'm joking, love, and now I'm thing to another. And she's kissing my mouth. So over and up, we just sit on my couch. I'm got a little bit of my history, but uh, so I'll give you a little more. I got my start actually playing in nursing homes. Uh, yeah, those were my first paying shows were uh, nursing homes, and I actually played on the Alzheimer's unit, and uh, it was incredible to see people uh, who were there weren't able to recognize their own family members, but when I started playing, you know, here was I, I mean, like, you know, first show, a little nervous, and you know, I messed up a few words here and there. Oh, no, they know when you mess up a few words because they were singing along. And it, it's insane to see how uh, music really impacts and how long it really stays with you. So that's why we need to keep playing ukuleles. That's why we need to keep music in the schools. And that's why, you know, music is so important to not just, uh, not just me, but to everyone in the world. So this is one of their favorite songs. He was a famous dropper man from out Chicago way. He had a boogie style, no one else could play. He was a top man and he scrapped. But then his number came up and he was gone with the draft. He's in the army now, blow Beverly. He's the boogie woogie bugle bug company B. Made a blow bugle for his uncle Sam. He really brought him down because he couldn't jam. The captain seemed to understand. 
gonna stay Cause I'm next to the cab Went out and dropped to the band And now the company jumps Keepers Reveille He's the boogie woogie Bingo Bug Company B Two, 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 dee da, two, two, dee Blows and eight to the bar A boogie rhythm Can't play no less a bass guitar We play with them Do 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 the nature the bar. We both get with them. We can't play no less. We're basically good dog. We play with them. Breaks it up. He was Reveille. He's a boogie woogie bugle bug company B. He puts a boss to sleep a boogie every night. It weighs me in the same way in the early light. They clap their hands and stamp their feet. Because I know how he plays with all my gifts and beat. He really breaks it up. He was Reveille. very much. Unfortunately, due to the time schedule, things got mixed up, so I'm going to do just one more song that we can make rooms for some other, for some other acts. So, my final song is going to be a song that I actually wrote. Uh, it features Greg Hawks of the Cars on ukulele, which is pretty, uh, pretty cool. He's such a sweetheart. If you've ever gone to see him, fantastic ukulele player, as you can imagine. And uh, this song is called Hey You. I see you flex when I walk by And I see you try to catch my eye And I see you making stupid jokes To make me laugh And you think that I don't see you too But you are the blind to you Now do what of us will admit It's true, hey, hey you I think you're cute And I think there could be And 
And I think it's cute the way you stare When I'm twirl my hair And the way you think you're being smooth When you talk And I might smile then But in all honesty I want to turn around Laugh at you hysterically Hey, hey you I think it's cute And I think that Yeah, you look just like my missing puzzle piece And I'm waiting for that cheesy pick-up line Can I have your number? And it seems that I've lost mine And do you come here often? Or what's your sign? And, well, you must be tired From running through my mind So cute, and I think that could be me and you. Hey, you, well, I think you're sweet. Yeah, you look just like my missing puzzle piece. Hey, you, well, I think you're just fine. Yeah, you wouldn't be so bad. say that all you have to do is just say hey thank you very much everybody my name is mb padfield unfortunately i have to go run off to another show but it's been awesome hanging out with you guys until next time All right, one more round of applause for MB Petfield. Yeah, that was tremendous. Thank you so much. That was great.
Each day through my window, I watch him as he passes by. I say to myself, what an incredible
just call on me brother when you need a hand we all need somebody to lean on you just might have a problem that you'll understand we all need somebody to lean on lean on me when you're not strong i'll be your friend i'll help you
some of you guys. It was fantastic with the harmonies. It was so much fun. It was great. We got a lot more music for you this afternoon. Again, my name is Jeff Bellin. How are we all doing today? All right. I'm Ben Chung. My special guest here, this is Tom Devereaux. He's on the violin. He's been playing since the second grade, and he is going to join us for this first song, along with my wonderful father, Michael Chung. He's been doing so much to organize this, and he's been playing the ukulele since age eight, and he never stops. So, This first song is by Jake Shimabukuro. Some of you might know him. He's very well-known in the ukulele world. Um, it's a love song written for his wife called One, Four, Three. Here we go.
Thank you. That was one, four, three. All right, let's have a big round of applause for Tom Devereaux on violin. All right, we're uh, reducing the numbers a little bit here. Next song. This is by a Hawaiian composer named Daniel Ho. And he is a great, he, he, he's a wonderful musician, plays all sorts of things, loves the ukulele. And he wrote this song about breakfast. This song is called Pineapple Mango. And my dad and I are going to do that for you. Enjoy. The wonderful Michael Chung. All right. Let's call off the rest of the band, Corinne and Dan. Come on out. Corinne Bernstein on flute and vocals. Just vocals right now. And Dan Lorenz is... Here he comes. Here he comes. All right. Hi, Dan. Hang on. He's just going to plug in. I'm going to help him out. So, how many of you guys are happy today? It's a nice day. 
All right, so with that, our first song is going to be Happy by Farrell. Does anybody know that song? It's only been on the radio like a million times, so. Crazy what I'm about to say. Sunshine, she's here, and you can take a break. Hot air balloon, I could go to space. With the air, like I don't care, baby, by the way. Okay, guys, who's ready for our group strum? Everybody got their group strum music or somebody they can share it with? You're gonna turn to the page with I'm Yours by Jason Mraz. It's a vocal, um, but I'm just gonna be yelling out the chorus. And she'll be doing it. And can you, Dan? Yeah, could we get more of her in the monitor just a little bit? A little more chorus? Yeah, in the monitor. Thank you. Ben accidentally called it Jason M. Raz earlier. I thought it was pretty funny, so it's Jason. Excuse <laughs> me, it totally is Jason M. Raz. No, it's Jason Mraz. It's thank you. <laughs> it's okay, Ben. What can I do? What can I do? <laughs> test, test, test. Are we? Are we? Okay. Okay. So this this song is in C, and. Um, so I'll be strumming the chords right along with you, and you can look to me, kind of. I might be doing a little bit of a different strum pattern, but I'm going to yell out the chords right with you, and Corinne's going to sing, Dan's going to play his guitar, and we are going to have a good time. Thank goodness. We ready? <laughs> Everybody got their stuff? All right. Here's I'm Yours. We're starting on C. 
Mic down. Just move to the side. So this final song, or yeah, our final song, is called Body Surfing, and it was written by this really great ukulele virtuoso, and his name was Otasan. They call him Otasan for, you know, sign of respect, because he's such a great player. He wrote this rock ukulele song back in the 80s. And that's what we're about to play for you. Um, admire Corinne, because she practiced her butt off, because this is some really hard stuff to do on the flute. So, yeah, this is body surfing.
here for Art of Motion. The incredibly multi-talented Art of Motion, that is Dan Lorenz, Corinne Bertson, and Ben Chung. Let's hear it, everybody. Give it up. Yeah.
fun. Let's hear it for the uh, Montpelier ukulele players. They've got a little more for you. Come on, let's hear it for the Montpelier ukulele players. Yeah. Thank you so much. So, so we're dedicating this song to Jim DeVille, who came to one of our meetings, and I said, Jim, we want to play Twist and Shout. And would you help us? And, and I don't, if you've met Jim, he's a, he's a brilliant human being. But he said, I'll do it on one condition. Put your books away. You don't need no stinking books. So, for the strum along, there's only three chords. It's D, G, A. So we're gonna loop it. And, and twisting is allowed, is that right? Okay. Twisting is They were great. Thank you so much, guys. That was great. Thank you for your spirit and your playing and your camaraderie. That was great. That's quite apparent. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, I am Jeff Bell, and I'll give you a little brief. Everybody's going to get a proper introduction here, so which is pretty cool. Just a little bit more about myself. I, I'm actually I am a trained musician, but uh, not necessarily in the ukulele. This is the first time I've played a fretted instrument before, but I've taken to it. Uh, uh, it's just a blast to play, and I love the camaraderie and the, and the fact that you can really do lots of different things with uh, the ukulele. I've, I've been playing classical music and jazz and musical theater even. I've, I've been on stage. And as an actor, you act... Uh, I, mentioned before I'm a professional actor, you might actually see me in a couple of W.B. Mason commercials where I play this clueless CFO who ends up in a shark tank. So if you see, watch the Red Sox of the Bruins, you might have seen some of those ads. But anyway, so here I am, um, you know, having a little fun. I actually have two songs that I'm premiering today uh, that I've never played before. One is an original that I actually wrote for today and actually for someone who um, I'm a great admirer of, a friend and, and one of great admiration and, and, and someone who has really made a huge difference in the world, uh, the ukulele world in Boston. So I've written this song for him called, and it's really, it's because of part of who he is, uh, but this song is called A Real Seersucker for a Seersucker Suit. 
Ready, Dano? There's a bow tie on his collar that's sure quite a hoot. His boater hat is also quite a beaut. No summer wear is ever too cute. He's a real seersucker for a seersucker suit. I've never seen him in a house of ill repute. His charming personality is not in dispute. Your opinion of his style is really quite moot. He's a real seersucker for a seersucker suit. He's not a rocker, he's more like a smeck. He's not the type to drink swill. He's not into Justin Bieber kind of dreck. But if you are, he'll wish you no ill will. He plays the ukulele and not the flute. If you play as well to his band, he'll recruit. He's cute with his duds. On that you can't refute. He's a real seer sucker for a seer sucker suit. Go. Ba ba di ba ba di ba bu ba 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 ba. Ba di ba 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 He's not a rocker, he's more like a smeck. He's not the type to drink swill. He's not the into Justin Bieber kind of drag, but if you are, he'll wish you no ill will. A seersucker suit for you may not be ill suited, not in your DNA as currently constituted, but to his own outlook, you've got to salute. He's a real seer sucker for a seer sucker suit. He's a real seer sucker. He's a real seer sucker. Come on, everybody help me with this. He's a real seer sucker. He's a real seer sucker. Come on, everybody. He's a real seer sucker. To his Outlook, you've got to salute. He's a real, 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 honest to goodness. Died in the wool, I should say, died in cotton. Seer sucker for a real cotton, all white pinstripe, baby. Yellow or blue pinstripe. Very, 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 very fine. See a sucker suit. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very, very, very much. I wrote that last week and uh, had a lot of fun with the rhyming dictionary on that one. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we're going to play a, a song that kind of uh, is appropriate for the occasion today. It's called, uh, I know we don't have this, this quantity, but this call, song is called 10,000 Ukuleles. Thank you. 
Peace and love and harmony, every heart was filled by 10,000 ukuleles playing on a hill. Playing on a hill. 10,000 ukuleles, 40,000 strings, and 100,000 fingers made the heavens ring. Woman, man, and child stopped what they were doing, and everybody smiled. Everybody smiled. My dog has pleased. Thank you. Let's hear it. Let's hear for our art. Johnny and June. Woo!
Roman. That was awesome, dude. Thank you so, so much. Uh, my name is Dano. I'm going to, um, as Jeff mentioned, I teach people to play the ukulele, and I feel that my job is to be the ambassador of goodwill for ukulele throughout Massachusetts. We're a long way from Hawaii, and a lot of people still eschew it as a toy. But we're here to prove otherwise, ladies and gentlemen. And that is my sole purpose for being with you here today. Now to start things off, I have a trivia question and a fabulous prize. Because of uh, the nature of our event, this is uh, open only to uh, children under the age of 12. If you can correctly answer this trivia question, you will win the fabulous prize. Raise your hand if you can answer this trivia question correctly. Don't shout it out. If you shout it out, you will not win. If you can correctly answer this question, what is the proper pronunciation for the instrument I'm holding in my hand? The proper pronunciation for the instrument I'm holding in my hand. Uh, yes, girl in orange. Say it loud, say it proud. Oh, you're so close. It's actually pronounced harmonica. Sorry, you owe me a fabulous prize. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I know it's a long way from where you're sitting, but what I hold in my fingers is the world's tiniest harmonica. Everybody go, ooh, thank you for your sarcasm. <laughs> or as it's pronounced in Hawaii, harmonica. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to attempt to play the world's tiniest harmonica, which in itself would be semi-astounding. But to make it even more impressive, I am going to attempt to play the world's tiniest harmonica with... No hands. You're remembering your lines now. Thank you. I am going to attempt to play America's favorite folk melody, Oh Susanna, on the world's tiniest harmonica, accompanied by the ukulele, with no hands on the harmonica, two hands on the ukulele. <clears throat> Not... I don't know if that was an oo or a boo. If it's boos, throw it this way. All right, now, this is what I was saying about being the ambassador of goodwill for the ukulele. We're all in the same boat together. I was testing this out. Across the street, people cannot hear what I'm saying right now. There's an arts festival going on right there. Art, ladies and gentlemen. Do you realize how pretentious and snobby art is? Compare that to the humble folk instrument of the ukulele. Let's show those artists a thing or two. If I succeed in playing America's favorite folk melody, Oh Susanna, on the world's tiniest harmonica with no hands, then it becomes your duty as ukulele lovers and folk instrument supporters to clap, to yell, to cheer, to show those artists that they're missing something they simply cannot believe. You can throw small children high into the air. So get your hands ready. Just in case, hands up, ready to clap. Even you in the cheap seats, hands up. Everybody does it, nobody looks stupid. Sorry, Jeff, I take that back. All right. <clears throat> I should point out that the world's tiniest harmonica has only four holes. which is a total of eight notes through blowing and sucking. Unfortunately, this is not enough notes to play all of Oh Susanna, America's favorite folk melody. You'll hear where I run out. Mouths open, ready to shout. Ah, ah. Wow, attractive audience.
I'm okay. I'm all right. Thank you very much. Dano Sullivan, do we have another one from you, Dano, or is this it? I can't breathe. Can't That's breathe. You, He's out of breath. That's it. Let's hear it for Dano Sullivan. Wow. This is this is a uh, a man who 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 who. Gives his self for his art, you can absolutely see. I mean, he's exhausted, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause, enthusiasm for Alex Crowd. Aloha, everybody. How's everybody doing? Awesome. Well, it's great to be here today. I'm affiliated with the Southern New Hampshire Ukulele Group, who you will hear in a little while. My name is Alex Krauth, and I've got a couple of songs for you. Uh, first, I'm going to do a song by a guy from Hawaii named John Cruz. As Dano said, I, I'm really into Hawaiian music, so I'm going to share a Hawaiian song with you. You guys ready to do it island style? All right, let's go. On the island, we do it island style From the mountain to the ocean, from the windward to the leeward side On the island, we do it island style From the windward to the leeward side Mama's in the kitchen cooking dinner real nice Beep stew on the stove, blow me salmon with the ice We eat and drink and we sing all day Kani kapila in the old Hawaiian way On the island, we do it island style From the mountain to the ocean, from the windward to the leeward Thanks, Jeff, for the introduction. Uh, like you said, I'm uh, quite new to this. I'm about uh, 18 months into this experiment. Uh, it's the first instrument I've played since recorder class in second grade. I got kicked out of recorder class. I think I might have been one of the first ADD guys. Like Before ADD was cool, I couldn't pay attention. All the other kids were playing beautiful notes. I was just like... Out they go, like, you're done. So here I am like 40 something years later and I've discovered this lovely little instrument and now I can't put it down. 
Um, I guess that's it. I'll do, do my best. Uh, I'm playing a good song that I, I loved as, as a, a youngster growing up. I'm going to play uh, Stay by Jackson Brown. Um, I like it uh, for many reasons, but it starts out nice and slow and mellow and easy to play. About midway through it, it comes up a notch, and then by the end it gets a little tricky. I might trip and fall, but I'm gonna, I'll do my best, so I hope you like it. The seats are all empty. Let the roadies take the stage. Pack it up and tear it down. They're the first to come and the last to leave. Working for that minimum wage. They'll set it up in another town. Tonight the people were so free. They waited there in line And when they got up on their feet They made the show And that was sweet But I can hear the sound Of slamming doors and folding chairs And that's a sound they'll never know One more. 
your song oh, won't you stay just a little bit longer please 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 say you will say you will oh, won't you stay Don't mind, and the roadies don't mind. If we take a little time and leave it all behind and sing one more song. Yeah. Whew, thanks, Chris Curtis. Chris Curtis, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, Chris. Hey, and on and one last note, the guy that's been doing this sound stuff, thanks, buddy. You're doing a good job. It's Paul, let's get up for Paul. Is it doing the sound? Thank you so much. It's been sounding great. It's, actually, it's better. It, this sounds really good this year. Listen to me, honey dear. There is something wrong, I fear. It's getting harder to please you. Harder and harder each year. What's wrong with you? Cause after you get what you want, you don't want it. If I gave you the moon, you got tired of it soon. You're like a baby. You want what you want when you want it. But after you are presented with what you want, you're discontented. You're always wishing and wanting for something. When you get what you want, you don't want what you get. And though you sit upon my knee, you'll grow tired of me. Cause after you get what you want, you don't want what you wanted at all.
Chuck Golf Solo, everybody. Give it up for Chuck and for Walt. Woo! Come on, give it up. You can do better than that. Let's go. Save some time to dream. Save some time for yourself. Don't let your time slip away or be stolen by someone else. Save some time for those who love you, because they'll remember what you gave. Save some time for the songs you sing and the music that you made. Some time to dream, cause your dream might save us all. Save some time for sorrow, cause it's surely come your way. Prepare yourself for failure, it'll give you strength someday. rise up to heaven what does that mean to you try to be not too judgmental so others will not judge you save some time to think oh before you speak your mind Many friends will not understand, and to them you must be kind. Could it be this is all there is? Could it be there's nothing more at all? Save some time to dream, cause your dream might save us all. Dick Roll, ladies and gentlemen, Dick Roll! Give it up! All right. Yeah. All right, we're ready. Let's give it up. Huge round of applause <laughs> to Gary Rutstein and Claudia Combe. Thank you, thank you. 45 years ago today, I was up to my knees in mud at a Woodstock concert up in upstate New York. And I was there with my friend uh, John Ragucci. And he said, someday you're going to get up there and play, and people are going to be clapping for you. And wherever you are, John, this one is for you. Hey, Jew, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. Remember to let it then you can start to make it better. You can sing with me. Hey, Jude, don't be afraid. You were made to go out and get her. The minute you let her under your skin, then you begin. To make it better So anytime you feel the pain Hey Jude, refrain Don't carry the world Upon your shoulders 
For well you know that it's a fool Who plays it cool By making his world A little colder Hey, hey Jude Don't let me down So let it out and let it in Made you begin You're waiting for someone To perform with Don't you know that it's just you Hey Jude, you do The movement you need Is on section of the show. Thank you so, so much, Gary. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you, folks. You were fantastic. Thank you. Stick around. We have more.
Thank you very much. That was an original entitled Oak Leaf. Which is also the title. Thank you very much.
Thank you all very much. Give it up for Ben Carr. Ben Carr, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, give it up. Thank you, Ben. Really nice, interesting set. Thank you so much. All right. You know, I asked uh, those of you that were interested in getting the most out of the workshop to come on down front, and I saw a few of you did. You know, I uh, was just in the hospital for the last three days, and I drugged my uh, body down from Augusta, but I know you're in a lawn chair and having a good time, and going from there to there would be far too difficult for you. So, so we'll just start anyway. And this is a participatory workshop, ladies and gentlemen. That means that you participate, correct? Yeah. That's right, everybody. So let's start out with the play, Ukulele by Ear Guarantee. And even for those of you lounging in your lawn chairs up in the trees, you can participate by repeating after me in unison. Please. Eck, not yet. Security. <laughs> Expectations. Expectations. Are the harbingers of disappointment. Let me see a show of hands. How many advanced intermediate beginners are there out there? Okay, that's the level of the workshop today. Advanced intermediate beginner. Even if you're in your lawn chair, put both feet on the floor here, on the ground. Okay, one minute rhythm exercise. Everything we do in the next 29 minutes is gonna be in rhythm. Are you ready? We're gonna start with the left foot and count off in time. Three, four, one. No, it's one always. One, two, three. I can see that uh, some math is needed here. One, I can't hear you going left. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. And stop. Two, three, four. Can you still hear it going in your head, the rhythm? Oh my God, you're, it's working. The I had player and recorder. If you can't see me, I'm pointing to this up here on the end of my neck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the most important device for learning to play by ear because everything you hear will be recorded on the iHead recorder and then you can simply call it back up and play along with it. I'll give you an example. Who knows the international mute chord which is lightly touching the strings with the left hand? I do. It sounds like this. Listen. Three, four. Can you do that with me? Make this percussive sound. It's on the one. I can't hear you. Now just think it. Let the hand play it. Get into the groove, look at my hand. Say one and two and three and two and three and let me hear you. And stop. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you know that chord? That's called the C chord. In the key of C, it's called also the one. Everybody raise your right hand quickly. We only have 27 minutes left. Wiggle your thumb. Say one. Wiggle your index. Two, three, four, five. This is your patented fifth interval finder. It will find the first five notes to every key in Western music. It's an amazing thing. What key are we in? What is C? It's the one. Hey, let's play a one chord song, all right? I love one chord songs because you don't usually need a handout. Here's what the tonality of C sounds like. Do you hear this? No, don't play it, just listen. Hum it with me, take a deep breath and go. Mm, let me hear you hum that note. Three, four. Mm, I can't hear you. Mm. And here's this chord that goes with it. Okay, so we're gonna play this song, it's called Home. There's only one melody note, that's it. There's only one lyric, home, and there's only one chord, C. Who needs a handout? 
This gentleman over here, Ben, let me play it for you one time so you can get the song in your iHead recorder. It sounds like this. Three, four. Well, that was one time through. Wasn't that easy? Let's all play it together. Three, four. Let me hear it. If you're a Buddhist, you can sing Om. Om. And stop. Ladies and gentlemen, where do songs start? That's right! Whoever said that wins a free four color business card. See me at the tent after the workshop up at the top of the hill. Most songs start at home, unless you're some obscure uh, jazz tune or something that uh, Ben just played. Most songs start at home, on the one. So if you know where the song starts, and then you go someplace, where's it going to come back to? Isn't it a great idea to have home in your head? Of course it does. But let's go somewhere, because home songs get kind of boring. They just stay at home. Let's go up five notes in the C scale. C, D, E, F. That's right. And I could play a G major chord, which is a major chord. They're kind of boring, but I don't like major chords that much. I like tension chords. I like dominant seven chords. So I'm going to make this G a G7. Let me see a show of hands. How many people have been to France and been involved in an automobile accident? Well, if you had been in serious automobile accident, this would have been the first sound you would have heard. Anybody ever heard that sound before? It's the sound of tension! Ah! And that tension needs to be resolved. And it resolves where? To the hospital. So I wrote a song. So you would never forget the essence of Western music, ladies and gentlemen. The essence of every two chord song that you've probably ever heard. Listen to this beautiful, beautiful tension and resolution of Western music in this song that I wrote called Home, Tension, Home. Let me play it for you, won't you? Three, four, home. Tension, I went up a fifth. Home. Does anyone need a handout? Hold on. Go to the back of the stage and meet me in 20 minutes. Raise your right hand. We're, what key are we in? C is one. Go up five notes. C, D, E, F, G. Make a G7, which is a little triangle chord, and it resolves home back to C. That's called a one, five, seven, one chord progression. But you don't even know, to know those numbers. You just have to know that C and G7 work together to create this sound. So let's play that song together. It's one measure each of the one and five seven or C and G seven. Is everyone ready? Yes, you are, because we're running out of time. 22 minutes to go. Three, four, home. Everybody, attention. Feel the tension. Home. You have to let your body feel it. Tension. Oh, 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 hold on a second. I, I, I'm so glad I came to Nashua today because I have to give you the one minute singing lesson. Okay? Here's the way you get air going. Now, you heard what the level of volume was right there. It was pretty weak. Because if you don't have any air, you can't sing. But if you have air, you can go on for all, oh, yeah, you can go on forever because singing is nothing more than sustained talking. I could go on for hours and hours, probably with just one voice until I start to run out of air. Okay, so you take air and then you sing like this. You think three, four, home. Everybody, take some air. Tension. Come on and sing it. Oh, did you hear the difference? That's right. Home. Tension and back home. There it is, ladies.
ladies and gentlemen, it only took you about 12 minutes to learn the essence of Western music and the ending of every song, probably most of the songs you've ever heard, and like this. Don't you think it's a good idea to hear that and know what that sounds like? I do. As a matter of fact, if I'm ever at a ukulele club and they pull out a song like Hank Williams' Jambalaya and everybody says, well, what page is it on? I say, hold it! You're not going, to, no, 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 that's a two-chord song, and it's only got the one and the five-seven in it. You don't need the paper. If you've got the melody in your head, the melody will tell you when those two chords are going to change, and I'll prove it to you, because this is the way I learn two-chord songs. I use my home tension method. Listen to this. Jambalaya, without the paper. Home, 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 home. That's called the cold ending. If you ever want to get on the assisted living circuit, ladies and gentlemen, you have to know cold endings. Listen to this. This is my favorite and probably a lot of people's favorite folk song. It's called Leaving on a Jet Plane. Have you ever slowed it down and look at where the words fall on the chord changes? I don't think so. That's why I'm here today. Listen to this. All my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. Oh my God, you're leaving? Of course, I'm on the four chord. <laughs> I'm standing here. That's back home. Outside your door, there's the four. I hate to wake you up to say, I'm leaving. But the dawn is breaking, it's early morn, the taxi's waiting, he's blowing his horn, already I'm so lonesome, I can die, 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 die. I think you know the song now. Anytime we're on this 5-7 chord, somebody's getting hurt. Somebody's cheating on you. Somebody's lying to you. The IRS is coming. Oh, is that the police down the street? Ah! But when you're on this chord, ladies and gentlemen, it's love, maybe some loneliness, some sunshine. And I don't know, as a human being, how you can mistake those two. You can't. All you have to do is listen a little bit. In fact, I'd like you to join me right now by putting... Your hands on the fingerboard in the G7 position for that tension that's going to lead us into the chorus of leaving on a jet plane. And you'll hear the 1414141571 chord progression. I could explain it in the numbers like that, or I could tell you the letters, but it's really the emotion. So listen, he's going, so, this is the sound of leaving right here, so. And sing it with me, slowly, so we hear the changes. Back to the one, it goes, kiss me and smile for me. Tell me that you'll wait for me. Hold me like you'll never let me go. Oh, no, leave me, honey. I'll never forgive him for leaving us there. Let me tune this a little bit. It's a little bit hot up here.
Did you hear that? Did you feel it? Did you feel it? Oh, come on. You felt it, didn't you? Yes, you felt it. Come on, give me an amen. That's right. This is the church of the chord change, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm not going to be here, but for another, maybe, looks like about eight or nine minutes. Time flies here. It's the shortest uh, play-by-ear workshop of all time, ladies and gentlemen. 29 minutes. The world record. It's the New Hampshire state record also. Thank you. <laughs> so when I leave, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have to start to hear these chord progressions on your own. So I just taught you one, four, five, seven, one in order. You can also play it in the descending fashion. Listen and see if you can hear the same sounds. Home tension. Sunshine home. Let's play that together. One measure each. The home Tension, sunshine, home song. Are you ready? Three, four. Home, tension, sunshine, home. Sing it with me. Now see, what I would do, I would play that chord progression over and over, and I would wait for songs to come out of the iHead player that are already recorded up here. You know, ladies and gentlemen, what is the biggest hindrance to any ukulele club? It's the biggest disease that affects every ukulele club. Do you know what it is? It's called ISS. It's called incessant strum syndrome. It happens when any more than two ukulele players in the same room at the same time. And it sounds like this. And no song that I know of does that. But I do know the most maligned song in the ukulele world, it's in every book. I've seen every book and I know, and it's the song called Bad Moon Rising. Ever heard that song by Creedence Clearwater Revival? Ever heard it played like this? I see a bad moon rising. I see trouble. Yeah, the trouble is me because I don't want to hear it like that. I want to hear it the way it was recorded. And so I could listen to the recording and record it on my iHead player. And when it comes time to play it and somebody says, well, what strum pattern do you use? And I say, I use the one that's on the record. Hey, does this sound like Bad Moon Rising? Yeah, it sure does, doesn't it? Because I was listening to it in my iHead player. It's like cheating. You have to flip the switch, though, ladies and gentlemen. And if you've got the book in front of you and you're looking at it, you're going to be thinking about these lines going by instead of listening to your iHead player and what's going on there. You have to make the fundamental break, ladies and gentlemen, start practicing listening in this fashion. As a matter of fact, you discover so much about the song when you do it this way. I'm telling you, remember what I told you about how the words that fall on these different chords, anger and hate, death on the 5-7, the four chord is, is, is something much lighter, maybe sunshine, happiness. Listen to the words of Bad Moon Rising and where they fall on the beat. One, I see a bad moon rising. I see trouble on the way. I see earthquake and lightning. I see, like if you didn't know it, it's bad times a day. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is worth the price of admission alone to this event. In fact, I would stake my entire salary today on it. Each one of us is involved in an interpersonal relationship, whether it be with husbands, wives, partners, children. If you know how to use your ukulele as somewhat of a manipulative, emotional, manipulative weapon, it's just like being a songwriter. Listen, if you want your kid to stay in on Saturday night, you do not tell him on this chord. You better stay in tonight. You, I told you, Johnny, if, if you use this chord, you know what they're going to say? I'm going out. But if you use this chord, don't go out tonight. Because it's bound to take your life. 
Why? Because there's a bad moon on the rise. I told you that four times in the beginning of the song. You see how you learn them? I don't need bad moon rising in the book anymore, ladies and gentlemen, because I know the story and I know the chords. Let's learn one of the chord progression before I go today. It's called the one, four, one, five, seven, one chord progression. It's like, okay, we did up ascending, we did descending. How about if we mix it up? Everybody play this with me here. It's called three, four. Home, sunshine, home, attention. Sing it with me now. is? Anybody? Is anybody going wee wee right now? And going page 274 again. I think it is because the song floats by. The melody is floating by in your head and it's a wonderful thing to experience. So after you leave today, go home and organize your songs not by alphabetical or which ones you like, but organize them into chord progressions. Oh, this one is like a one, four, five in, in order. or And just start with two or three chord songs Start there. Don't start with the Thelonious Monk until next week. <laughs> That's the best bit of advice I can give you. And ladies and gentlemen, all of a sudden, there will be a fundamental shift in your playing and your listening. And you can do it anywhere. In the car, listen at the songs when they go like this. You've heard the ending. Who cares what key it is? You've heard them do this. And when you start playing the songs you already know, you'll go, oh, why do I need to look at that book again? Because I know it sounds like this or this. You know, I'll end today, ladies and gentlemen, with a two-chord song that I wrote uh, about a year or so ago. I was traveling on the Coast Starlight. We call it out west. It's actually this Coast Starlight, the Amtrak train that runs from San Diego up to Vancouver, British Columbia. And, you know, this is where hearing and listening when you're in involved in music and you want to get off the book, this is where it just it changes your life. I'm riding on this train, and we're getting up to Salinas, California, up in the, uh, near the Bay Area. And I've got this overnight trip all the way up to Oregon. It's like 24 hours, and we stop in Salinas for a five-minute rest stop. And I look up at the darkened Salinas sign at 10 o'clock at night, and a three-minute rest stop turns to five. A five-minute rest stop turns to 10. A 10-minute rest stop turns to 20. And I said, what the heck is going on here? I have to get to Oregon until finally the conductor came over the intercom system, and he said... I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, some homeless people have thrown some tires on the track. And I said, homeless? Can you, what, can you imagine the frustration of yourself sitting in a train, stuck in the middle of nowhere in Salinas, California, heading up to Oregon, waiting, and, and, and train, tires are on the... You, you'd be so... And then you'd look down on your seat and you'd see your ukulele and you'd go, wasn't it musical the way the conductor said that? Some homeless people threw some tires on the track. Tires on the track. Tires on the track. Some homeless people threw some tires on the track. And now the train won't go. And I just taught you the chorus to the best song I've ever written. <laughs> you want to play it with me as we go out today? And never forget the essence of tension and resolution, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you so much for coming out here and uh, taking the initiative to want to get off the piece of paper and, and play music. And so we'll just play that chorus and then I'll do the verses and the verse is the same as the chorus with the, uh, with the chords. And you know how I'm starting to talk like this a little bit? It, it happens every time I play this song because it's kind of like a, one of those songs. Let's play it together and really sing it with gusto, ladies and gentlemen. One, a two, a here we go. Some homeless people through, some tires on the track, some tires on the track, some tires on the track. Some homeless people through, some tires on the track. And now the train won't go. Well, I was headed up to Portland, oh, I said Portland, oh, Portland, oh, where those big Doug turkeys go, but now <laughs> it's 
they're, they're fir trees, actually, ladies and gentlemen. They're not what I just said. I'll try that again. <laughs> Headed up to Portland, oh, I said Portland, oh, Portland, oh, where those big Doug fir trees go. But now, rain won't go. Everybody sings. Hold those people through. Some tires on the track. I love that tension, don't you? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. Jim DeVille, ladies and gentlemen. Jim DeVille, thank you so much. Oh, one, a two. Oh, one, two, three, four. Scusa, 
from me, but you see back in old Napoli that's a morning. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a morning. That's a morning. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's a morning. That's a morning. Bells will ring, ding a ling a ling, ding a ling a ling. to start doing the drawing now we want everyone coming up here and we're going to set the record you've got a uke you've got something that looks like a ukulele come on you've up you've got a pet that looks like a pedalele come on up
thank you, Snug, everybody who played today. That was amazing. What a great, great day. We'll do it again next year. Thank you for the non-players. Thank you for being here. Come next year. Support the vendors. Sign up. Put your name on if you did play and haven't signed up yet. The group, uh, the group play. Thank you again. Good night. Have a safe evening and a great rest of the year. Great rest of the summer. Thanks much. I'm Jeff Bellin. Thank you.